Hey there, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to be painting my own little box. I bought this box ages ago, just so, so long ago, and then just never did anything with it. I was going to paint it up as a gift for somebody else, but then just never quite had a good idea for it. So I have decided it's going to be a gift to me, <laughs> because why not? I deserve a gift, <laughs> and I deserve to put some time into something just for me. That's what this whole making to make happy motto is all about, doing stuff that makes you happy. So I'm going to paint this box up and it's a tea box. Ooh! And now I'm a middle-aged lady, I do enjoy my tea. <laughs> so I have become slightly obsessed with the tea brand bird and blend. I want somewhere to put it that makes it a nice little special brewing station as it were. So I'm going to paint up this tea box with a, a nice cosy design that is just, I don't know, I've not really planned it even that much but we'll just we'll just see what happens. It's going to be quite simple because I don't want to spend hours and hours and hours on it because to be fair I just want to use the box. I want to have a box and I want to use the box. <laughs> Does any of this make sense? I feel like I've been talking for a long time. If anyone, by the way, is interested in which teas I'm going to be putting in the box, the ones that I've bought recently, then stick around. I will pop a little bit at the end about the teas that I have, but I won't bore you now with it just in case you're not a tea person. That's fair enough. Well, so let's get cosy and paint a box. <laughs>
is my cozy brew box. It's all finished. I'm very pleased that I've now got somewhere special that I can put my lovely teas so that I can feel all cozy through autumn and the rest of the year. I kind of went with kind of autumnal colours but also ones with pops of yellow that take me through the rest of the year because I like a bit of yellow. I can't deny. Whenever I've painted boxes for other people, I've always done every side and even at the bottom sometimes, but for mine, I wanted to just keep it simple and enjoy the colour of the wood itself. So I just did the top here and I did the inside a lovely bright colour. Okay, so if you're into tea, I will just talk about some of these burden blend teas that are ones that I really like. So I have black teas. One of my absolute favourites is chocolate digestives and I have that in a matcha tin at the moment because it's undercover. <laughs> I could just, I could just sit and smell it. I don't have to brew it. I could just smell it. <laughs> this is so nice. Another similar one that's just nice to smell is bonfire toffee. Mm-hmm. It's kind of smoky and as I say toffee, caramelly. And I have violet cream. This is one I just recently got and it's so violety smelling. When you sniff it, it's more subtle when you brew it, although if you leave it for a good old while you can get a quite a strong violet taste. But ooh, potent. Then my last black tea that I have is tea and toast which is really nice for the morning because it's just kind of a standard black tea but it has kind of a raspberry sort of subtle hoo 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 around it. <laughs> Lovely with a biscuit. I also have some Rui Bosch teas which I tend to use in the evenings. I have honeycomb cookie dough and I also have a very similar one which is butter toffee popcorn. Oh yeah. In terms of taste I find honeycomb cookie dough and butter toffee popcorn sort of similar. Maybe I've just brewed it wrong, but they're sort of similar. But I've enjoyed both. And I also have a baby egg. They tend to push the cream egg flavour out at Easter, but you can get it at other times of the year. And they also do a baby egg version, which is the non-caffeine rouge version. It's got a kind of creamy chocolatey kind of -ness. Are you getting a theme with me here? I've got chocolate and caramel essentially. That's what I do. I also have some pepperminty stuff because peppermint is useful to have if you've, you know, had a big dinner. And I have peppermint cream which has cocoa nibs inside it and it really does smell. When you smell it, it smells like a chocolate peppermint cream. Amazing. Sadly, I couldn't fit my matcha tins into the box with my teas, but that's okay because now they can have their own separate box. It's like special matcha land. Anywho, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate you getting this far. And if you like Bird and Blend teas or just any other teas, I want tea recommendations. I, I really enjoy it these days. Pop them in the comments down below and let's have a tea chat because you can't have too much tea in your life turns out. This is also funny because as a young person I didn't like any tea because I don't really like plain tea. Like if someone says oh do you want a cup of tea? No not really I don't choose that because I find like just plain old tea a bit like meh it's just like hot water it always has been to me but uh yeah I really enjoy flavoured teas and going on tea journeys. <laughs> tea journeys. That. So yes, if you do have any good recommendations for any teas that you enjoy or hot chocolates, like hot beverages. Um, I found like tea latte powder the other day on the Tea and the Gang website. I'm intrigued. I've not tried it, but I want to. If you've got anything like that, pop it down below because I need to know about it. Anyway, this has been a lot about tea. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to leave you now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice week and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.